Welcome to Trikanakan's Kill. Your lifetime career partner. Trikana is a pioneer and trailblazer in the field of civil engineering and construction training, seeking to bridge the gap between engineering studies and the construction industry. Splitting Tensile Strength of Concrete Introduction Split Tensile Strength Test, a method of determining the tensile strength of concrete using a cylinder which splits across the vertical diameter. It is an indirect method of testing tensile strength of concrete. As per Indian standard tensile strength of concrete is equal to 0.7 under root compressive strength of concrete. Objective In direct tensile strength test it is impossible to apply true axial load. There will be always some eccentricity present. Another problem is that stress is induced due to grips. Due to grips there is a tendency for specimen to break at its ends. Apparatus Testing Machine Cylinders The cylindrical mold shall be of 150 mm diameter and 300 mm height conforming to IS 10086 to 1982 Weights and weighing device Tools and containers for mixing or concrete mixer Tampering rod 16 mm in diameter and 600 mm length Test Procedure Sampling of materials samples of aggregates for each batch of concrete shall be of the desired grading and shall be in an air-dried condition. The cement samples, on arrival at the laboratory, shall be thoroughly mixed dry either by hand or in a suitable mixer in such a manner as to ensure the greatest possible blending and uniformity in the material. Proportioning, the proportions of the materials, including water, in concrete mixes used for determining the suitability of the materials available. Weighing, the quantities of cement, each size of aggregate, and water for each batch shall be determined by weight, to an accuracy of 0.1% of the total weight of the batch. Mixing concrete, the concrete shall be mixed by hand, or preferably, in a laboratory batch mixer, in such a manner as to avoid loss of water or other materials. Mold. The cylindrical mold shall be of 150 mm diameter and 300 mm height conforming to IS 10086 to 1982. Compacting, pour the concrete into the mold in three layers each approximately one third the volume of the mold and rod each layer with 25 strokes of the tamping rod. Uniformly distribute the strokes over the cross section of each layer. Curing, the test specimens shall be stored in a place free from vibration, in moist air of at least 90% relative humidity and at a temperature of 27 degrees plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius for 24 hours plus or minus one half hour from the time of addition of water to the dry ingredients and places the cubes in water tank for 7 and 28 days. Placing the specimen in the testing machine, the bearing surfaces of the supporting and loading rollers shall be wiped clean and any loose sand or other material removed from the surfaces of the specimen where they are to make contact with the rollers. Two bearing strips of nominal, 1 8 in that is 3.175 mm, thick plywood, free of imperfections, approximately, 25 mm, wide and of length equal to or slightly longer than that of the specimen should be provided for each specimen. The bearing strips are placed between the specimen and both upper and lower bearing blocks of the testing machine. Draw diametric lines on each end of the specimen using a suitable device that will ensure that they are in the same axial plane. Place the specimen on the plywood strip and align so that the lines marked on the ends of the specimen are vertical and centered over the plywood strip. Place a second plywood strip lengthwise on the cylinder, centered on the lines marked on the ends of the cylinder. Apply the load continuously and without shock, at a constant rate within the range of 71,689 to 1,380 kPa per minute splitting tensile stress until failure of the specimen. Record the maximum applied load indicated by the testing machine at failure. Note the type of failure and appearance of fracture. The test is performed. Calculation The splitting tensile strength of the specimen can be calculated as T equals 2P divided by pi LD, where T, splitting tensile strength, kilopascals, P, 
maximum applied load indicated by testing machine, kilo newton. L, length, meter. D, diameter. Result. It is found that the splitting test is closer to the true tensile strength of concrete. It gives about 5 to 12% higher value than the direct tensile strength test. Thank you for your time. If you have any queries do not hesitate to contact us.